Well, hey folks, so here's the situation. What happens if you injure yourself or something happens where you can't play your normal rounds of disc golf? What do you do? Well, let's talk about it right after the intro. Okay guys, here's the situation. I've kind of done something to my arm, my elbow, and uh, I really kind of messed it up. I think it was cutting down a lot of trees, clearing uh, some of the course over at George Ward and then here at Inverness, and I'm really having trouble with my arm right now. So uh, I tried to play some disc golf this last week and it hasn't been good, and I need to give it a rest. So I can't really play disc golf regular. Uh, but here's the thing, I don't want to just sit around. I want, I love playing disc golf, so I thought, well, let's get out and let's polish off the old left-handed disc golf round. Uh, and the whole thing is that uh, this video is really about encouraging you to uh, find ways to overcome whatever it is that's kind of holding you back, even if it's just getting out and playing left-handed, all rollers, whatever you can do to get out and get active and keep moving. Because here's the thing, today is my day off, and my other option is to sit around and, and work on some stuff, but really just kind of be sedentary and not really get out there and do anything. But the fact that I'm giving myself the challenge of just coming out and playing left-handed with a birdie, end of a birdie, brand new, uh, hasn't been thrown before, but I'm just gonna go out and do it because it's giving me a challenge and it's also just giving me the impetus to get off the couch and take the inertia and just start going and doing something. Now, I'm gonna do a half running round here. I just had breakfast. I'm not gonna be super fast uh, and I'm not gonna kill myself because this is not about speed, but it's really about pushing myself to just get out there and do some stuff uh, with the, the sport I love and just to keep going. Uh, so so the, the thing is, is I'm not gonna try to do a major score, but what I'm gonna try to do is just work on my game, even if it's just the mental game out here. So that's enough babbling, let's get out. I'm just gonna be throwing left-handed and we're gonna try to go to the blue basket, the short, short basket around here, uh, and just have a good day out on the course. Sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes that's all you can do. Let's just have a good day. Come along with me now. And of course I haven't stretched. What are you talking about, Pete? Stretching. Oh, it's been a while. Two off the first. Okay, sit rep. <laughs> I'm already tired. <laughs> My body's going, no. But sometimes you just have to say, shut up body. And let's go. All right, this one counts. <laughs> Woohoo, power. Guys, I hope you realize some of my main motivation in doing this is just to help both you and me love this game uh, and hopefully get better little by little. And that doesn't mean we become the greatest disc golf players in the world, but that we get better at what we can do and we enjoy the game more each time we come out. Whoa, oh, I thought that was a spider. All right, now I can really let it fly. Woo -hoo. I have to think so much before I throw left-handed. <sighs> clonk, clonk, clonk. This is really just a game about trying to keep it in the middle of the fairway and not throw too crazy. A little more pop. So I should probably expect to shoot bogey golf is kind of my goal here. Uh, not even par golf, left-handed. Well, it's funny, I normally, especially when I haven't stretched the first couple throws, I 
kind of pull my uh, my glute from the uh, throw. Well, now it's the opposite glute since I'm using the opposite hand, so <laughs> that makes sense. The touch is phenomenal left-handed. All right, so walking up this hill gave me time to think. And the thing about it is, you don't need to play injured. That's one of the things that can go wrong with disc golf is because you can play hurt. Like, I could keep going with this arm and throwing, but it's going to do more damage if I keep doing it but it's kind of that long protracted damage versus uh, oh i hurt myself i need to stop so one of the reasons why we keep playing when we're injured is because we're pushing we're pushing we want to get that better score we're wrapped up in our scores we're wrapped up in our value as a disc golfer and guys if you are trusting in your score to determine your value and your worth out on the disc golf course you kind of got some things turned around if you can't come out and be okay shooting a bad round, whether it's left-handed, rollers, whatever, if you have to protect your score at all costs, then I think your focus may be a little bit on the wrong thing. Because, let's face it, unless you're tracking the top pros, most people don't care about your ratings. And even in leagues and stuff like that, I can't remember who won the last league. I can't remember who won the last tournament, in the most part, because we just don't care that much. But for some reason, personally, we've got to protect our score. We've got to do better. We've got to score better. Everything is about the score and the points and the numbers. And that's not the case. Do you love disc golf? Do you love watching the disc fly? Do you love just being out here with your friends, throwing Frisbees and having fun? If you're so wrapped up in the score that you can't come out here and have fun and be a goofball and mess up and have a bad score, then you might be holding on a little too tightly to this game and what you're trying to get out of this game. Okay, that's my preaching over for today, but you've got to be able to let some of this go and just have fun. Even if it's showing up to league and having to play with a birdie left-handed, so what? You're out there hanging out with your friends. Hopefully you're out there, you like these guys, and you're, you're playing disc golf no matter what. So that's kind of wrapped in the don't play hurt just because you want to protect your score, but also have some fun out here. Please have some fun out here. And, and be fun for the other folks, because let's face it, some of you guys are a pain in the butt out on this course, and you're way too serious. All right. Oh, the blue basket's the longer basket. Dang it. <laughs> he says all that, and then now I got to score. <laughs> That's all I got. I gave it my all. Oh, uh oh. I hope I hit a tree because I yanked that one. <laughs> it may be down the hill. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> Just feels so weird. It's actually easier for me to throw uh, harder drivers and stuff like that where I can just throw it with more hyzer, do a hyzer flip, but also know I'll round. I'm just using, I'm using more arm than wrist and snap. I'm, I'm just kind of flinging my body at it. So the form's not great, but you do what you can. And if anybody wants to know why I don't flick putt left-handed, because I don't have that kind of muscle control over here yeah the the left hand it comes down to that twitchy finite that fine motor skills and this is <laughs> let's face it left-handed it's a blunt instrument that i'm just kind of uh, so uh, How do I hit it even left-handed? <laughs> Dang it! I hate, I hate that tree. 
couldn't let me around the corner. No. This stupid root knocked me over here. I want to be as close to the basket as possible. These are scary. <laughs> you can't really tell on the, the video, but the basket has a little bit of a lean and I caught, <laughs> I could have been gone. That's so smooth, so smooth. Oh gosh, sit, 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 sit. So we always wanna be learning. If nothing else, I'm teaching my body to do things it's uncomfortable doing. So my brain is being stimulated, I'm working on things. Even if it's just how to throw an approach shot left-handed, it's, it's, it's training my body to be trying to reach out and learn something new every day. And I think that's a good thing, especially as I'm getting older and man, my memory's getting funky. I need to try to push my body and my mind every day I can. That was good camera work right there, yep. Professional. So I guess it's been about two years now since I had shoulder surgery, but I played uh, several rounds of league play left-handed just because I wanted to hang out with the guys. Uh, those are some good scores back then, let me tell you. But it also gave me the uh, confidence to know that even if I mess up something with my arm, right arm, I could always play left-handed if I had to. You know, still love the game. Wouldn't be able to score as well, but I'd still be able to play, and that's that's an important thing. All right, this is a touchy little shot. <laughs> I can't quite get the... I'm releasing here instead of here. I gotta... That just... Come on, arm. Come on. The mind knows, the body says no. But let's face it, even if I turned right around and played another round after this, my body would be smarter and I'd probably play better just because I'm learning with each hole, with each shot. Uh, yeah, that's all we can hope for is that we're just growing and improving every day. But that means we gotta put the work in. And I'm all about grace and mercy. Believe me, I'm all about grace and mercy, but there's also something to pushing yourself to grow in that grace and mercy. All right. <laughs> <Kya. laughs> it just feels so foreign. When you're holding your breath for 10 foot putts, that's awesome. Hey, if nothing else, it's thrilling. Fun and adventure can be found in so many places. Listen, this is fun. If you let it, if you're gonna get so uptight that it's all about I've gotta conquer, I've gotta do it all. I've gotta be the best to the detriment of everybody else around me, no. But if you can let that go and just come out and look how beautiful it is out here. Now granted, in a couple weeks, it's gonna be miserable out here with the heat. But right now, it's a little crisp, it's beautiful. Gotta enjoy it now. I'm gonna try to rip the crap out of this. This is gonna be very ugly. Uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Got a little nose up on that. <laughs> little nose up. <laughs> Oh, in my mind, I was just going to pull. Instead, I went Phew. Oh, whew, I was thinking I had to go to the yellow basket. I only got to go to the blue. Am I blue? You know, another course would be so much easier to film. All the hills and stuff, just trying to keep your camera from falling over. 
watch this. Be impressed. Ooh. I almost did it. I was, I was joking, but I almost did it. Right by the front of the basket and then rolled, drifted back down for a knee knocker. Oh, crap. <laughs> Boy, these are exciting. <laughs> for me, at least. <laughs> and some drama. I finally got the nose down and threw it right in the creek. Where was that shot last hole? I don't know if you could see it, but that was a that's a brand new birdie. You can see how non-stable they are. Or understand. They're just flat right out of the box and then they just start going left. I was hoping for a little more stability just to fight back and it just doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I was aiming that way, and I went that way. But I missed all the little trees, so we'll take it. Playing left-handed for a good bit, uh, I was I was getting pretty good left-handed as far as distance and stuff like that. And people are like, oh, why don't you stay throwing left-handed instead of like forehands or whatever? You could just throw a backhand uh, drive or whatever. And it really came down to a margin of error. Uh, Left-handed, I could get the distance, but my margin of error was much wider. Like, I could be aiming here and throw here or over here. Whereas, hopefully, with my regular backhand, if I aim here, I'm missing here or here. It's, there's less, less error in the uh, aiming, uh, if that makes sense. Either get in the basket or miss the basket completely so you don't go rolling back down the hill. Ooh, look at that form. Look at that form. That was spectacular. Did you see the leg kick? Yeah. Professional. Nose down, Pete. Nose down. Dumb tree. That was an ugly throw. I was trying to do too much. I tried to yank that one. I wanted to curve it around that tree, put on a little Anheuser, and I just pulled it. <laughs> I parked the yellow basket. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Threw it, turned into a, uh, a roller, and just took off. That was bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was just doing a bump and run. <laughs> Root. <sighs> I'm safe. I'm not OB, fortunately, but... Yeah. Oh, crap. I get to bring it up here because that's just dangerous and nasty. <laughs> Speaking of dangerous and nasty, that was bad. Poop. <laughs> Getting better. Got that one lower. I like it. So one of the things to think about is play to your 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 mistakes. I know I'm I'm pulling to the left when I throw, so I'm aiming. I mean I'm not getting over enough when I throw, so I'm aiming farther to the left, taking consideration that disc is going to fall back to the right. So if your game at this point is pulling off to the left, make some adjustments and then work on your game outside of the course so that you can start moving that shot in. Does that make sense? 
play to your mistakes, but then work on fixing them. I think that's my first birdie for this round. Hey. It's funny, I'm really trying to focus on my form and things I know I should be doing. It's like I'm learning to putt all over again. <laughs> and it's not a flick putt. <laughs> I'd love to get a backhand, uh, a left-handed ace, even if it was a black ace, because we're going for the blue basket, but I would have taken the yellow basket, because uh, I'm not that choosy. Oh sure, taunt me by going to the yellow basket. And this is why DX Plastic, it's already got knocks in it. It's, uh, I mean, one round it's already starting to get beat up. Oh, it, the, the bad side of the lid disc is they like to grab. So it caught a rock over here and just picked it up and it rolled all the way around. Boy, I thought I threw that nice, nicely. It was a nice throw. So I hit right here, caught something, maybe this root, and just picked up and rolled around behind the tree. Like a stinker. tree got in my head. I knew it too. I was trying. Let's face it, so much of putting is just getting comfortable, feeling at ease when you're putting. And that tree just was not helping me be comfortable. I feel like Brad Hammock throwing myself off the end of the tee pad. I really wanted this one to be the yellow basket because that would be so much easier. All right. Let's just fling and pray. <laughs> that was my attempt at a turnover. Beautiful shot to the right. Sad. Do my James Conrad. Wait, flip the hair. Sorry, James, you know I love you. It's just you watch all these guys on uh, on tournament coverage, you start to pick up all their little idiosyncrasies. If you haven't noticed, watch James's uh, putt routine. See how many times he hikes up his pants and, and tweaks his hair. <laughs> Sorry that I just gave you that because now you won't be able to not see it, but it's pretty funny. Okay, in league, when I'd play left-handed here, I'd just throw out through the woods here and try to fight my way through there. I'm gonna try something unprecedented. I'm gonna try a left-handed flick. Try to avoid the water. Oh God, this feels so weird. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be giving lessons later. You come on down, show you how to do that. Stay out of the water, check. <laughs> it literally slid down this. <laughs> Coal berm. Here's a little historical fact for you. Inverness was built on coal mines. You know, Birmingham was one of the steel capitals of America and coal and stuff. And so this course is built over coal mines. 
helps by me in the camera built over coal mines so this pond over here on the right is kind of where the tailings and stuff were but yeah there's coal if you can see on the ground here where my disc is this is just all coal debris so if you need some coal come on down all right i'm gonna have to really and if i get it wrong roller water Oh, it tried, it tried. <laughs> the pressure of a one disc round playing left-handed by water, you know, ratchets up the drama a little bit. Why did you only play 15 and a half holes, Pete? <laughs> I might have been inside the circle, sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've ever jump putted before, but my body with this log, I kind of <laughs> took a little liberties there. Good thing it worked out so well. <laughs> I hit there, and then somehow it just morphed down into the... Wow. <clears throat> I'm doing great for the yellow basket. Too bad I'm not going for them. I'd take that drive every day on the yellow basket. Guys, I realize I have no touchy control. This is this is pro move right here. You doubted. You doubted. <laughs> I was so sad. I say that's probably my favorite shot of the day. <laughs> it's so ugly. Ugly, but getting there. So I'd like to finish with a bit of drama. Left-handed putt, crosswind with the creek. Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> All right, well, there you go, guys. So I think I finished four or five over. And so now I've set a, uh, a benchmark and next time, I just want to shoot for one less. You're not going to go, okay, next time I'm out here, I'm going to shoot even par. No, you're, you're just trying to make small little incremental changes. It'd be great if you shot even par, but I'm just trying to improve little by little. It keeps that challenge going. It keeps me excited about coming out here, but it's also realistic. Clean up a couple things. Uh, it, it, I wouldn't have to shoot crazy to do that, whereas I would have to clean up a lot of stuff to shoot even par. So anyway, there you go. That's my encouragement for you make this game fun and learn at the same time don't get so wrapped up in just conquering 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 best score your ratings what are they come out have some fun be goofy a little bit make up games you know that was what originally said on the frisbee you know make up games let's have some fun out here don't forget this is supposed to be fun and if you made it this far thank you so much guys i really do appreciate it please like and subscribe getting close to 2000 hopefully by the time this comes out i'm over 2000 but I'd love to have you along, and I'd love to see you out on the course.